Well, now for some good news around the pandemic, the Israeli Asuta Medical Center in Ashdod has now shuttered its coronavirus department because the hospital has no more active patients. Over the last eight weeks, the hospital has treated dozens of coronavirus patients, including some of the country's youngest and a handful of very serious cases. But now Asuta is the first hospital to announce that they're COVID-free. And joining us with more is Dr. Deborah Gershov West. Now, you're the director of the emergency department at the Samson Asuta Ashdod University Hospital. How many corona patients has the hospital treated so far and has everyone recovered? And we've, treat, we've treated so far 75 patients and yes everybody's recovered except for one patient um, who died early on in the um, in the process around around March an elderly patient with a lot of comorbidity. Um, all the other patients have recovered including some seriously um, ill patients and as you mentioned some of the youngest patients in the country um, who to, to be so seriously ill. Now, despite the happy news that obviously the coronavirus ward is closing down, many predict, predict that a second wave is coming. Do you agree with these predictions? Uh, what do you think about the plans to ease restrictions at this time? Um, I think that we absolutely have to be ready for a second wave. I think it's very likely, um, especially since the restrictions have been lifted. Um, however, I think we're ready for it. I think that what these um, the last few months actually proved to us was that we we, we can handle a certain number of, um, of very sick patients, both in our and, and in, in the country um, countrywide. Um, and as long as that we maintain um, the virus and to an extent and we leave it, we keep the very sick, pa the, very, um, the very vulnerable patients, we keep them out, um, out of danger, um, then it's actually a, a, a disease we can deal with, like the flu. I mean, over the right. winter months, there's a lot, of, a lot of flu and we don't shut down the hospitals or shut down the country. We just manage it. So I think we will see more patients, but I think it's something we should be able to manage. Having dealt with this virus firsthand, do you feel that all the regulations that were put into place were necessary, the way that Israel went about dealing with this crisis? Um, absolutely. I think the results are, uh, speak for themselves. Um, we anticipated a much greater crisis, which much greater, greater mortality and morbidity, and we didn't see it. Um, we saw the numbers. We shouldn't really be all that different to the countries around us, and we are. Um, I think the very rapid and very uh, um, strict response that, um, right, right from the beginning um, has, has, has proven itself. Uh, I think you know, we saw numbers that were much less than we expected. Um, we still saw seriously ill patients, mm -hmm. um, but there, it was something that, that the hospitals could absorb. We didn't have patients got to be dying because we didn't have ventilators to treat them or, 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 um, or staff to manage them. Right. Now, earlier this month, your hospital was selected to participate in the first Israeli clinical trial for a drug called Cabraza as a COVID-19 treatment. Can you tell us about it a bit? Um, so from what I, we, we basically used it on, on most of the patients, um, along with Plaquenil, which is another drug that initially was considered to be a, a, a life-saving miracle drug. Didn't see a significant change um, in, the patient, in the patient care. It's a little bit hard to tell because the numbers are small. And um, what everybody's producing, what we're seeing from all of these trials that come out of very, very small numbers that in any other uh, time would not really stand up to any scientific tests. Um, we didn't see any great response. What mm -hmm. we did see a response with was the plasma. Um, when we took plasma from patients, um, that patients that are recovered, we used them on two of our sickest patients and actually did see quite, a, quite an impressive response, quite an impressive recovery. We don't know whether it's cause and effect um, because, again, the right. numbers are too small. Um, but it, did see, it, did, it, it, it was quite, quite promising. All right. Well, you know, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. The work that you have been doing is just so important. And again, we're happy that for now the coronavirus ward is closing down at your hospital. We'll see, I guess, how this plays out. But again, thank you so no much problem. for joining us. No problem. Thank you.